So what are the top WordPress security mistakes that we see? Well, one of them is uh, having no security product installed if you keep your site up to date. And the reason it's necessary is because you need to take a layered approach to security. So you can have up-to-date plugins and themes, but what you can have is a zero day where the vendor of the plugin or theme has had no time to release a patch for that vulnerable product and hackers are going around and exploiting that product. And if you had a, a firewall installed, you'd have a, a rule that would be deployed by the security team that would protect you against that zero day before the vendor has a time to uh, release a fix. It's, it's a great example of why we take a layered approach to security, but that's one of the top mistakes that we see. Another one is uh, weak admin passwords, which are easily crackable or brute forceable, uh, using abandoned plugins where if there is a vulnerability, there is no vendor around anymore or developer around anymore to actually release a fix. Not updating the site. So, you know, as I was saying, thinking that you can just update the site and be secure without a security product is a mistake, but updating your site is one of those layers. And so you should keep your site up to date and have a security product installed so you've got those multiple layers. Having no backups, you know, if the worst happens, you need a way to recover. That's one of the fundamental mistakes that we see. Too many admin accounts. Um, there's this principle of least privilege. So you wanna ha hand out admin accounts sparingly and only give them the access that they need. Reusing passwords where some other service might have been breached and the attacker has access to those breached passwords and can hack your site. And then not taking a layered approach. Those are the biggest mistakes that we see in WordPress security.